video. So first and foremost, as always, I want to shout out everybody that's been showing love to the past couple videos, to the vlog, to the Nike video. Any video in the past week that the homies have watched, shown love, liked it, left a comment, hit me up in the DMs, I appreciate you guys to the max. So I've been trying to get on a schedule of one day on, one day off, one day on, one day off, posting one day, not the next, posting one day, not the next. So I posted on Sunday, didn't post yesterday, so here we are today with a brand new video. So today's video isn't too crazy. There's not too much substance to it. I just want to go over three, four, five items that I have acquired over the past week. The homie was at my house the other day and he told me, yo, Kelly, you should collect your packages every week or every two weeks and then just do like a weekly unboxing every 10 days, every two weeks and show the homies what you have purchased over that time period. I thought that was a great idea. So here we are today and I'm doing exactly that. Some of these items are clothing items. Some of these items are tech items. Either way, here we are. I hope you guys enjoy. So before we get this video started, make sure you guys go check me out on Instagram. Uh, I'm trying to push the Instagram. I know right now, this second, uh, my picture game is not up on point or where I would like it to be, but that is something that I'm putting more time and effort into. And in the coming days and weeks and months is something that I really want to expand and put some time and effort into. My homegirl is also pulling up today. We are going to go get four, five, six shots uh, for the next days that I can post. So I want you guys to go check me out over there. You guys can see what I'm doing videos aside, see what kind of fits I'm wearing, what kind of pictures I'm posting, and all of that kind of good stuff. Leroy Destroy on the gram. Make sure you guys go check it out, and uh, let's get into today's video. All right, guys, so I'm using the G7X right now. The Sony camera is on the tripod right here. The first thing that we are going to get into and look at is this external monitor that I bought right here. So the reason for me buying this external monitor is because on this Sony camera, although it is badass, uh, it does not have a flip out screen. So this is as far as the screen flips out I can't see myself I cannot see what I'm recording when I'm facing the camera like this which is kind of when I'm reviewing items and when I want to look at my face the whole time. That's the reason for this purchase. There's external monitors that go all the way up to four, five, six, seven hundred bucks. Uh, this was, I think, 150. So hopefully, even though the price is a little bit lower, the reviews were good. I hope it's sick. Let's crack it open and see what it looks like. All right, guys, excuse my nut shot right here, but uh, let's crack this open. So this is from the company Feelwood right here. We're going to open this up and see what the package contents are. So we got a little cord. I think this main thing popping out is the monitor right here, which we will look at in depth. We got a bunch more cords right here. Some kind of mounting utensil, another mounting utensil, a battery charger, a battery, and some cords that I believe connect the monitor to the camera. So this thing is 5.7 inches, almost six inches wide, which is fairly large in comparison to the other cameras that I've had, even with the flip out screens. They're always two and a half inches, three and a half inches long. So having this six inch wide screen to look at uh, is gonna be pretty cool. It says that it's 4K right here, which is what the Sony records in. So hopefully it is a nice crystal clear, crisp image that shows up on this screen. Let me get up off the floor and put this stuff up on the camera so we can kind of see what the setup's gonna look like and uh, hopefully it looks sick. All right guys, real quick, I'm gonna show you how this thing works. It comes with a battery pack you slide the battery in the back and then you can see this mounting plate can actually go multiple different places on this camera I know a lot of you guys like aren't into cameras and shit but anyway I'm just showing you guys because it means something to me and I think it's pretty fucking cool so look the mounting plate is on the battery is in because you can see the little light right there next we are gonna take the little HDMI cord that they gave us and we are gonna plug it in right here where it says HDMI BAM just like that now we have the monitor with the mounting bracket and the cord attached we are gonna take this up this mounting bracket slides in right here and then I'm gonna tighten this up so it doesn't fall off bam cord coming out monitor in the front we're gonna take this little cord right here and plug it into the HDMI on the side of my Sony so batteries in the back the cords are attached check this thing out now we're gonna press the power button boom 
we have power. Now watch this. My camera's in sleep mode. As soon as I take it out of sleep mode, this thing should pop up. Bam, biggity, boom. You guys see me in there? What's good? Check this thing out, bro. This little G7X is not doing it justice, but in person, yo, this thing looks so fire, dude. So that is now the little setup. Now, whenever I sit down and when I do the rest of this video, I can see myself perfectly in 4K HD. Oh, I wish this would focus a little bit better on the screen. The exposure's a little off because this G7X is just automatic everything, but yo, this is so fire fire. I'm gassed that I got this thing to work. I hope you guys like it. I hope you think it's sick. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. This is how I'm going to be recording all my sit down videos, preview videos, pickup videos, anything that I need to look at myself. Ooh, baby, this is nasty. So dude, looking at this screen is so crazy, dude. This is wild. And even when I had the flip out screen on my other camera, it was not this big and this high quality. So if I keep looking up, it's because I'm, I'm looking at the screen. I'm gonna do my best to keep my eyes on the lens and uh, man, let's get into the rest of these items. So the first item I wanna show you guys is an item I've already shown on the channel and that is this FTP hat right here. So this one is a little bit different because it is a size seven, smallest size that dropped and the only size that fits my small little bean head. So I'm gonna take my beanie off and put this hat on. I know that this hat does not fit the greatest uh, but it fits better than any other size hat that I've got. So the only problem that I have with this hat is how deep the crown is. Uh, I wish the crown was a little bit more shallow so it could sit a little closer to the top of my head. But as far as circumference wise, I feel like this hat fits very, very well. I don't know. You guys can tell me how you think it looks. I was extremely happy to get this seven and I want to shout out my boy, Hi Jesse. Super in tune with the FTP. Shout out to Johnny as well. He made the transaction happen. So I'm happy that I got this seven. Uh, I might not rock it always because even backwards, I feel like it just looks a little bit too big on my head but this hat dropped uh, over a month ago maybe six weeks ago now or more and uh, I finally got the size that I want you guys can see the death series tab on the side fat FTP logo on the front I'm extremely happy that I got it now I can put this hat in the collection all right guys next item I'm gonna show you guys is some jewelry which I don't really review on this channel and I'm not really a big jewelry guy the one piece of jewelry that I do wear and I get a lot of inquiries about is this little rose chain right here. The only problem is I have no idea where it came from and I stole it from Alexandra. I've been wearing this for quite some time uh, so I thought it was time to get some new pieces of jewelry and here they are right here. So a while back I was wearing this little chain right here, this little fuck chain. I've gotten multiple inquiries and compliments on this chain right here. The chains that I'm about to show you guys come from this same company. This is one I've had for some time that I have not worn too much but I got two new ones right here and hopefully Hopefully I can throw that one and these two in the rotation and get some new jewels around the neck area. So this company is called Thrifty. This is not a sponsored video. This is just a company that I have purchased from in the past. And I really like the pendants and the necklaces that they do. They had a new drop with like four or five new chains. So let's go over them and see what they look like. So this one right here is my favorite out of the two that I purchased. And this is it right here, the little 666 chain. So this chain comes in gold and silver. I decided to get the silver because this is not the greatest quality jewelry ever. It is definitely not real gold and I don't even think that it's real silver. I think this is all silver plated and gold plated, but I decided to get silver because I feel like I can wear it with more. But this is the classic 666 design that was originally brought to life and worn by Biggie Smalls, but then Supreme did a whole 666 collection with five or six, seven, eight, nine, ten different pieces on it. I love that design. I have the hat, the hoodie, the denim jacket, the denim pants. And when I saw them do this chain, I was like, yo, I absolutely need this. This little silver 666 chain, super slapper, dude. This thing was 35 bucks. Like I said, not the best quality jewelry in the world, but for a light, subtle flex, I feel like it does the job. And I love, love, love this chain. Also, the packaging that it comes with is pretty cool. It's like almost like a little weed bag. And then it comes with a thrifty sticker inside. If you guys 
guys want to go check them out on Instagram, tell them that I sent you there. Uh, I don't think they know me and I don't know them, but maybe if we can get enough of you guys to go over there or comment on their post or DM them and say that I sent you guys, I don't know, maybe we can do something together in the future. So the next chain that I got is this little S right here. And obviously this is an S that looks exactly like the Supreme S logo. The reason why I bought it is because people call me sleepy and not only do I love Supreme and the S logo, I can also use it as an abbreviation for my name. I decided to go with silver. I can wear it more. I feel like it will tarnish less and all around I think the silver is just a better color and the designs that they do look better in silver. So right now these are the three chains that I have from Thrifty. The F-U-C-K chain, the S, and the 666 right here. The 666 and the S being the newest ones that I have purchased. Now if anybody from Thrifty is watching this, please don't take any disrespect. I don't mean that your jewelry is not good. Obviously your guys' pendants and chains are priced at 35 bucks, 40 bucks, 45 bucks. So it's not that it's trash jewelry, it's just a little bit more affordable and the designs are cool and that's why I bought them. If you guys are looking for a necklace or a pendant and you don't have the biggest budget ever, I would say go to Thrifty's website and check them out. I will link them in the description below even though this is not sponsored. You guys should go check them out and buy yourself a dope little chain. Shout out to Duva, she found these chains for me and I feel like these things are extremely cool. All right guys, next item I wanna show you guys is a pair of shoes and these are Timberlands dude so you guys know me as I always say I'm not a big shoe dude especially not Timberlands I never thought I would buy Tim's in my life uh, but these dropped a couple seasons ago I slept on them and I was able to get them for under retail so here they are right here first of all the box is extremely sick you got like this wooded area it looks like Jacob Starr would be standing right here taking a picture uh, in this scenery on the side you got Timberland and then on the other side you got the side 8.5 you guys just saw the shoe but we are gonna crack this open and see what's good so first of all the dust bag comes out this is extremely sick it's got Timberland Supreme printed down on the bottom of the dust bag this nice felt red is extremely nice let's crack these open and look at these shoes dude so these are leopard shoes which you guys know I love my leopard I will wear leopard t-shirts leopard jackets leopard pants leopard shoes leopard anything so if I am not mistaken I I believe these are called boat shoes. If I'm wrong, then please correct me in the comments down below. Uh, these are just like some kind of lug shoe or boat shoe. I'm not 100% sure, but holy hell, look at these shoes, man. These things are so gangster. I have no idea what I'm going to wear these with, but all I know is I am stoked to own these things. So on the bottom of this shoe, you guys can see there is a fairly thick sole on this thing. And then all throughout, there is this leopard furry-ish material. Material. I'm not even sure what it is. These things are badass. So I believe the retail on these shoes was $200. And of course, I got them on StockX for $180. I will never shout out StockX in my videos unless I'm getting something for under retail. So here's the shoes right here. One more time for you guys. These are an 8.5. I know a lot of you guys are probably going to think these are extremely ugly. And I'm not exactly sure how I'm going to put these together or how I'm going to wear these. But these things are super sick, dude. They got black laces on them and then on the side back here you guys can see a little supreme tab that is on both of the shoes so it's got some nice gold accents coming off of the cheetah or the leopard print it's got a nice black sole to it I feel like this is more of like a preppy vibe or a dress shoe or if I need to go somewhere nice and I want to look fresh and still rep the preem at the same time uh, that is what this shoe is for man super stoked that I caught these shoes for under retail 180 bucks let's and get it. Alright guys, we have one more package that we are going to get into right here. If I could ever get it open, it's going to be the highlight of the video for sure. So here's a note enclosed and it reads, glad I could secure this sick piece for you sleepy. Much love always to you and Duva. Prime population forever. X Joey Remsing. So shout out to my boy Joey Remsing. I'm going to leave his ad on the screen right here. This man helped me acquire this jacket from the Tyler the Creator Igor Tour and we are going to get into this thing right now. So I know that Tyler does tour merch every time he goes on tour but I did not know that he was gonna do a jacket like this as soon as I saw this and I saw the price tag I just had to have it I like my varsity jackets my bigger jackets work jackets overcoats and things like that the winter months are coming so this was a must cop it's got a bunch of colors on it I want to show you guys this jacket let's get into it so here's what the bag looks like right here down at the bottom it says golf wing varsity jacket multicolor size large 
and look at this thing dude so it is in a full golf bag let's undo this baby and pull it out holy hell off top this thing weighs so much which i was a little bit worried about it was 250 dollars retail which the lacoste varsity was 900 obviously that was made of leather this is not made of leather but for 250 i thought maybe he was cutting corners and it wasn't gonna be good quality but oh my gosh dude this is my first reaction i just opened this package and I am already extremely happy with this jacket. Now I know a lot of you guys don't like the all over print. You guys don't like the super loud colors, but I'm the exact opposite. Anything color blocked, anything loud, that's the first thing that grabs my attention out of anything that I look at, any lookbook, any pieces dropping. So here is the back and we will start right here. It has a fat chenille patch. This is all carpet material. It says golf. It has a sunflower on it. It's got a blue heart with a red back. Both of the sleeves are different colors. One is blue and one is black. And then going down the sleeves of this jacket, it says anti-golf. On the right sleeve that's blue, it says anti going down in white. And then on the black sleeve in white, it says golf. So anti-golf on both of the sleeves. And then let's get into the front of this jacket. You got a little smiley face embroidered chenille patch right here. And then you got a little golf rainbow patch, which is embroidered right here. Look at the accents on this jacket, dude. Even the pockets are color blocked with different colors. This is white. And then look at the buttons going all the way down in blue coming off of this red jacket. You have a yellow collar at the top. And then going down to the bottom, you have yellow cuffs and yellow ribbing. You got five, six, seven different colors on this jacket. This thing is so nasty. Shout out to Joey Ramsey, homie. Thank you very much for helping me grab this. Homeboy got it for me for retail, sent it to me and uh, I could not be more happy, dude. You guys got the golf tag right there. It says size large, and uh, dude, I am so happy. This is one of my favorite jackets that I have purchased in a while, and I definitely have to get a fire picture in this thing for show as soon as I possibly can, so make sure you guys go check me out on the gram, at Leroy Destroy. You guys wanna see a fire fit pick with this jacket. Oh my gosh, look at this thing, dude. Woo! Man, this thing is so fire. I am going to be staring at this thing all f day. All right, homies, that is it. And that is everything. Showed you guys the shoes, the hat, the jewelry, the golf jacket, and the external monitor that is on the top of my camera. So if you guys made it to the end, thank you guys very much. As always, make sure you guys leave a comment down below. Let me know what you guys liked that I cop. Let me know your favorite piece that you just saw, what you felt about the golf varsity, how you guys felt about the shoes, the jewelry. Let me know if any of you guys are actually going to go to that website and cop any of their jewelry. I'd love to hear your guys' comments down below. With that being said that's it for me guys i hope you guys have a nice tuesday much love to you guys make sure you guys check me out on the gram at leroy destroy preem population you guys know the vibes we'll catch you guys on the next video all right sleepy i'm out of here deuces later skater reese's pieces until the next time peace out